In case you missed it, last month, July 2023, Barbie team released the smooth line features for line charts. And this is something that I wanted to have for a long time, but you need to be careful when using this. You know, with more power comes more responsibility. So in this video, I'm going to show you what can go wrong, what goes wrong when smoothing the lines, and things that you need to just think about when using it, and where I plan to use it and why I wanted to have it. So you need to be very careful when to use it, but use it correctly is really, really neat feature. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, um, how to do it. Download July 2023. There's no preview feature, it's already in there. Select the thing, go to the formatting pane, more options. By the way, there is also in the July update this plus thing that allows you to turn off on off things on the pane, which is quite neat. So let's go to the formatting pane, you go to lines, and then here, smooth. Okay, and as you can see, it just goes wobbly, <laughs> which is, it looks actually very, very pretty. And I think that's why a lot of people want to use it. But, let's start with the pattern and then I'll show you why it's good to use it sometimes. So, I have now the same chart that we had before, but I have overlapped the one that has a smooth line and the one that does not. And as you can see, what the smooth line does is it just you know, connects the dots with a curve. And in some cases, for example, here, you can see how exaggerated the curve became. And obviously, the higher the fall, the higher the exaggeration. There are other types of smoothing that can be done that corrects this a little bit. I'm going to show you. Um, this is from data wrapper. So you can see here that this is the smoothing that the Parve team has implemented, which is like, you know, just interpolation between two points. But there are other types of smoothing that can be done. This is for data wrapper. They have introduced other types that correct that deviation a little bit. So hopefully in the future they will add this type of curved um, smoothing. So it, this is not as strong, but to be fair, I don't really mind for one reason. Let me show you. So when should the smooth line be applied? It is pretty. It is prettier, but it has additional problems to the one I show you. One problem is now, you know, what Parvia does when it has a lot of values on the x-axis. It just shows you some of them. But if you have more, which one is which, you would have to turn on the marker to actually see which day corresponds to where with a line chart is actually a lot easier to see you know because you have the the actual abrupt between so you see which day is which or which data point is for which uh, position in the axis here is not on the uh, smooth line is not so clear um, to have a smooth line with markers doesn't make a lot of sense. It might be times where you want it. You never know, but it, I notice also that if you turn off and on the markers, it the smooth disappears, so you have to turn it back on. It's probably a small bag. So you don't know exactly where the points are. And for me, that's not a problem either, because the way I want to use these charts or these technique of smoothing the line is when I just want to see trends, right? Like you don't want to zoom in the data. You don't care about the individual data points. You want to see if it's going up and down. Let me show you an example. So the data wrapper has actually quite a nice example on the same blog here that is showing that in 2019, the number of Germans older than 60 will surpass the ones older than 30. And you can see this is a smooth line. And you just want to see the the actual, you know, crossing when 60 will be bigger than 30. So the number of girls over 60 will be bigger than numbers. So you know what I mean? You're not looking at every single point. You're just looking at, you, know, you back down and then you look at the trend and I say, oh, I get it. And then it's prettier and easier for the eye because you don't want the details to just smooth the line. 
there are other reasons, other charts that you want to smooth the line to, but it's always when you want to zoom out on the data rather than zooming in and seeing the individual points. Are you zooming in? Don't use smooth lines. That would be my recommendation. Another place where these things make sense is where you are doing KPIs. You know, the new KPIs card, you can actually have, I'm not sure if you can actually put a line chart there yet, probably not, but you can put it on the side. And this is something that I wanted to do for a long time. You know, when you are actually doing these spark lines, uh, let me get rid of everything, just the spark line is so ugly when you are doing it with the, right? It's like, you don't want these details. You just want to see what's going up and down. So the smooth line, I think, is perfect for that type because you are just already telling the viewer, don't focus on the details. Just look at the what's going up and down instead. So I hope that this video was useful. I will continue doing this type of best practices for the new functionality that they release with the... Um, data visualization because, again, with power comes responsibility. And even if you can, or just because you can, it doesn't mean that you should. So I will see you again in the next video.